All right, guys, let's be honest. Do you have a problem with being habitually late? Oh, you've got excuses just like everybody else. But let me ask this. Would people describe you as punctual? If the answer is no, then guys, this video is for you. I've got a 10 step process that you can use to stop being late. Step number one to stop being late is to realize that you have a problem, that you have become a habitually late person. You're no longer this punctual individual. And I know what it's like because yeah, I used to always be 15 minutes ahead of time. That was pretty much what I learned in the Marine Corps. If you're not 15 minutes early, you are late. Anyone remember that? But then yeah, I get married and my wife in time, well, you know, she says it's going to be two minutes. I know that means about 20. Always add a multiple of 10 on with that. Then we have kids, not just one kid, but four kids. Crazy things happen. Literally, we're leaving. Two kids got to use the bathroom. We were going to be early. Now we're just going to be just on time. Then I look at the gas on the van. Oh, nobody thought to fill this up. You probably have had these things happen and you start to realize that you are that person that other people are waiting on. When you realize you've got that problem, that's good because then you can fix it. Step number two to becoming a punctual person is to realize that all human beings are very bad at tracking time. For the most of us, time is very relative. That's why when you're having a great time, time flies by. When you don't want to be at that concert, time is just going very slow. We also make another mistake that we go with the best scenario of time. So, it took us maybe 15 minutes one time to get to the other side of town and you got all those green lights. Everything was perfect that day and you assume that it will always take you 15 minutes. Instead, it really takes you about 20, 25 minutes. Well, guess what? Because you go with that best time scenario, you always underestimate the time it's going to take you to get somewhere. So, when you realize that as human beings, we, yeah, we're not very good at this, you can build systems and you can take steps to alleviate that problem. Step number three to becoming a punctual person is to commit to the change. No excuses because if you buy into the excuses, oh, I've got a lot of kids or I've got so many things to do. I'm running three companies. That's my reason for being late. If you believe that, then you won't be able to change because what you're basically saying is that I am powerless, that I can't make this change because of these outside forces. Most things are actually within our control, but we like to use excuses because it feels good. It pushes the responsibility off of us. But if you push that responsibility off of you, then you give up the ability to make the change. Step number four to becoming a punctual person, start to wear a watch. There's a 2015 study in which they clearly showed watch wearers are more conscientious of time. They're just more careful about time. They check it more often and therefore, they're more likely to be on time. In fact, three minutes ahead of time on average. Now, this watch right here made by Vincero, they are not the sponsor of this video. I just happen to be wearing it and I've got some extra Vincero watches in the office and I've got another watch here by Original Grain who is not the sponsor but I've got some extra Original Grains here in the office. Here's the thing is I love these sponsors and I'm just creating this video because I want to support them. I'm linking to both these companies down in the description. I've got some extra ones here in the office and I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments which one would look great on your wrist. Why be specific about the model? Go check out their website. They've got some new ones. I want you guys to check out some automatic watches over at Vincero, some beautiful, you know, specifically to baseball teams over at Original Grain. Let me know in the comments of this video, guys. And uh, I've got a few. I'm going to send out, choose a few winners, but you've got to go over to their website. You've got to peruse and actually give me the details and why and how it's going to help you stop being late. Step number five to becoming a punctual person is to go for the small win. Step number six is to celebrate that small win. For me, showing up at the gym at six o'clock in the morning is a great start to the day, but it's very difficult sometimes. I don't want to get out of bed. Yeah, I, I enjoy my sleep. I've got a beautiful woman in bed with me. I've got occasionally two or three kids that have crawled into our bed. I want to sleep more, but I know going to that gym is going to just set the day and I'm just going to have a great day. So, by walking into the gym, that actually is the win for me. Now, I have the option of working out or not. I, I think pretty much there has never been a time I've actually left the gym. But here's the deal is they've got a great hot tub at my gym. That is the reward. Every time I go there, I'm actually, I give myself 15 minutes to go relax, hang out in the hot tub. So, I've got that small win, just simply going to the gym, walking in and then I've got that reward right there, very simple, going to the hot tub. Step number seven to becoming a punctual person, schedule everything. So, one thing I noticed, I always 
honor my commitments in my scheduler. So when I have a meeting with someone, I'm always there. I'm always on time. But I was showing up late for dinner at home. I wasn't actually making time for myself to go to the gym. I was just, when it came to my personal life, I wasn't actually honoring the commitments, which I was saying, and I realized they're not in my calendar. So now I put all my personal commitments in my calendar. And because it's in my calendar, I am much more likely to follow through. Now, step number eight is I build margin in my calendar. So here's an example. I used to set up meetings for 30 minutes and I would have them back to back. Well, some of those meetings would go to 31 minutes. So guess what? I would get another call incoming and I'm about, I couldn't just hang up on this guy I'm talking with and I'm going to be late for this next call. So what I did is I made all my meetings 20 minutes. And what that does is it just lets me know I've got 10 minutes so I can actually go to the bathroom between calls. I can grab a quick, you know, bite to eat. I can actually talk to that guy for a few more minutes, but the expectation is set that we're only going to talk 20 minutes. Then that gives me the 10 minutes of margin. So if you're going to be heading off somewhere, give yourself margin. Why? Because yeah, when you jump in your vehicle and you realize you've got an empty tank of gas, it gives you that extra 10 minutes to go fill up your tank and you're still not late. Step number nine to becoming a punctual person, triage. You want to go through and you want to look at everything in your scheduler. You want to look at all your commitments and cut off the non-essential. Understand that almost everything in life is non-essential. Most of it's noise. There are only so many things in your life that are really important. If you were to die tomorrow, what would you spend today doing? Ask yourself that. Am I spending the right amount of time on following my dreams, on spending time with my family, with my wife, with my kids, with my mother, with my brother. You realize, look at where you're spending your time and you realize, you know, I may have to cut off Netflix. I may need to get rid of that television. I may need to cut off, okay, I'm part of all these clubs and they're cool, they're great, but really they're taking up too much of my time away from my family or away from me starting and pursuing my dreams. So go through, cut off the non-essential. Now, this next point, really important, especially if you're a yes man, I want no to become your default answer. Because if you're good at things, if you're someone that gets things done, you are rewarded by people coming to you and asking you to do more. You've got to make time for yourself, make time for your family, make time for what's important. You've got to make no your default answer. And you've got to always ask, I mean, it's tough because people want your time, especially when you've said yes. And some people will wonder why. Have a reason. Maybe show them exactly what your calendar is. And I know for me, I say no to so many good opportunities so I can say yes to the amazing ones. So this next point, complete bonus, but I use negative incentives to actually force myself to do things and to be held accountable. So an example, my basically when I go to the gym, I've got a gym partner there. He's my trainer and he's going to get paid no matter if I show up or if I don't. So guess what? Because I've paid this guy to be there and he's waiting there for me, uh, I am going to show up. So I found that you know, setting up a negative incentive. And there's so many examples out there. I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments what uh, what maybe some of your negative incentives are, how you have become a more punctual person. Guys, I really appreciate you and everything we've built here. I try to go in the comments and interact, but uh, I really appreciate it. if you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, pass it on to someone that is habitually late. At the end of the day, I want you to be able to use this to get what you want out of life. I talk about clothing. I talk about business uh, skills. I talk about grooming. I talk about etiquette so that you can use these tools to become the man you know yourself to be. Guys, take care and I will see you in the next video. Yeah, the people here are fantastic. The content creators are, are so approachable, each and every one of them. Um, you know, they're all slightly different and they have different perspectives on things. You know, if you ask the right questions, you'll get everything you need out of this event, no problem. Get in the talk with Aaron, get in the talk with Antonio. These are the people that have changed my life. Even the attendees here, you know, getting to see what they do, what they're looking for, what their dreams and aspirations are. And, and I just, I live off of that stuff and I thrive on it, you know.